Is it hard to access affordable, healthy food? Then listen carefully. Daryl Addison, an African-American inventor, has patented a process for growing food on demand. He called it Torpedo Pot. Torpedo Pot is a fully automated flower pot that gives you control over your plant's environment. All you do is add soil, seeds, and plants to the flower pot and watch it grow. Yes, Torpedo Pot grows the rest. Visit www.torpedopot.com. Hello, everyone. It's me, Demetra K. of the Demetra K. Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel and the African Diaspora News Insider. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So um, in January of 2020, a 10-year-old student in Hawaii was arrested for drawing an offensive photo of a student in her classroom that was bullying her. So it sounds like another student snatched the note and delivered the uh, photo rather to the other student and that student's parents demanded that the police be called. And so the police did show up and, you know, was talking to the student, the 10 year old. And they said the 10 year old was like, ah, ha, ha, I wonder what jail is like, you know, being a 10 year old. Right. And so they aggressively handcuffed her and took her to jail. Now her mother, Tamara Taylor says she didn't know anything about it. She was called to the school and all that later found out that her daughter was arrested you know, and booked into jail. Now they let the student go with no charges, but the ACLU was saying, nah, that's not good enough. We need all, everything attached to that arrest expunged. We need the uh, family to be paid $500,000 for the drama and the trauma that it caused. And we also need policies to be changed because 10 year olds should not go to jail for drawing pictures. Is it annoying? Is it wrong? Yes but she still should not have gone to jail. And so, you know, the student, the little girl is black. We don't know what the other uh, students' parents are, but I guess we could probably assume that they are not black. But what a horrible shame that the school would even think to oblige the uh, other students' parents by calling the police instead of trying to handle it in-house. But that is just more of an example of the school to prison pipeline and that they are sending our black babies through the system, which is prison or jail, a lot younger, more and more every day. And it is said that 31% of students in America that are um, arrested in school are black students and black uh, female students are obviously arrested and taken to jail more than of uh, white female students. And so anyway, y'all, uh, I hope that they get paid everything that they're asking for. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace. Living in America as a black person, you recognize there is one set of laws for you and one set of laws for those, especially in the white community. In our book, Passive Aggressive Racism in the System of White Supremacy, I take you through times in my life when I first started noticing white supremacy. We teach you how to recognize it, identify it, and also counter it in our book. This book is a beginner's course for those that are just starting to wake up and open their eyes to see the system of white supremacy. As a black American person, you must understand this system because this system is life or death to you. How you handle it, how you deal with it, it can affect your mental health if you don't understand this system. Pick up our book, Pass Aggressive Racism and the System of White Supremacy today on Amazon.